on the last video. Oh my god! <laughs>
일단 몸뚱이 말고 더더 더 좋은 거로 갈아타는 거야. We just have to earn more. Then we can replace our bodies with better ones. 개 개비 쏜 위체들은 감정도도리랑 욕구 차단도 되고 성능도 좋다고 하는 거. The, the most important or expensive ones can even adjust emotions and completely shut off desires on top of having good performance. But, but those are almost as expensive as a nest household. We can worry about that later. Let's put. Uh, God, see, this is what happens. Now my brain is having a fucking seizure trying to read these lines. Let's focus on money making now, Jesus. It's all about money in the end. So, so don't bring up restaurants. You're making me want to eat stuff too. Mo, there's a piece of paper stuck to your body. I like how this body doesn't have any sensory systems, but it's annoying to be unable to feel things like this. Let's look at that piece of paper first. Uh, I don't think it was in your body until just now. Maybe we got too infamous and someone sent us a calling card or something? Or maybe a coupon for yummy new food, yes. Alright, that settles it. All the engines and everything going on outside, the screaming children. I'm gonna be fucking pissed if something winds up cutting off a cutscene because the fucking city is too loud right now. Give me a minute! Besides, if anything else, it's throwing my own immersion off because I'm too busy trying to think about my audio levels and if you guys are fucking hearing everything in the background. <clears throat> anyway, are all syndicates composed of such half-witted individuals? I was expecting someone more refined. <laughs> It all depends on the syndicate. The city is crowded with them. You can even say there's one for every fixer out there. A number of thugs gather up and do things under a name, and you get a syndicate. They're involved in all sorts of businesses, so it's hard to give a general description beyond that. They seem sloppy. Are those machines? They aren't machines or AI, despite their appearance. Pure machines carrying their own emotions and desires have long since disappeared from the city. These guys are just using whole body replacements and low quality ones from a shoddy workshop at that. I see. 그러면 손님 응대를 준비해 볼까? All right. Shall we prepare for the reception? 이곳에 돈될 만한 곳이 있다는 거지? So, so we can find valuable stuff here, right? 그 괴물 녀석들을 썰어버리고 책을 가지고 나오기만 하면 되는 거야. And we just have to chop up some monsters and take some books. 지, 지금 몸은 힘 쓰는 건 잘할 수 있을 테니. Th this body has strength, if nothing else. We came here for loot, but what if that piece of paper was all a lie? Maybe we were all too naive. There is no need to worry, dear guests. In this place, we strictly play by the rules written on the invitation. Y yikes. Welcome, dear guests. This is the library. And I am Angela, the director and librarian of my roles' names. 
초대장에 적힌 책들을 얻을 수 있답니다. 시련을 뛰어넘으신다면 말이죠. In this library, you may obtain the books listed on the invitation if you overcome the ordeal. That is. 부, 부자놈들 장, 장난질인 거가 유흥거리 중 하나인 거지. Must be one of those ploys by rich folks. It's all entertainment to them. 대, 들어본 적 있어. 뒤, 뒷골목 녀석들을 납치해다가 누구도 살아남을 수 없는 미국을 만들어 놓고 그곳에서 평생 배회하고 싸우게 하다가 I heard of that, that they kidnap people from the back streets, trap them in a labyrinth no one can escape, and make them wander in there, fighting for eternity. Until they die, never to see light again. I like Consta. I wanna, I wanna keep you around. The rest of them I don't really care too, too much for, but Consta I like. <laughs> We've already come this far. We have to do this. D don't be so gloomy. 그럼 부디 당신의 책을 찾으실 수 있기를. May you find your book in this place then. Arnold, Consta, and Mo. Oh, they all have individual pages too. Interesting. What do they have for combat pages? Am I dealing with anything super, super dickish? One paralysis on self. Jesus, man. All right. Interesting. So chop it off is probably the worst thing that I have to deal with here. That's a good fucking attack right there. Yeah, I definitely want some of Consta's cards. Alrighty, well, let's continue then, shall we? And... yeah, just one act. Okay. Let's do this shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, that is a sword and a half right there. I'm also just gonna read their lines really quickly. Alright. I still kind of feel bad beating their ass, to be honest with you, but you know what? It's just fucking normal at this rate now, so. <clears throat> what are we dealing with here? You're attacking me with that, you're attacking me with that, so I'm going to 100% defend and then have you run in and attack this person. So, they're all attacking me. Cool. They're dickbags. Gotcha. Yeah, you know what? It's probably our best bet, then. Let's do that. And you are going to be a fucking relentless dickbag to her. Uh, two, five, three, four, so let's go with that one. Probably our best bet there. That'll redirect. Yep, perfect. I have a pretty good understanding of combat now, and it feels good. Better than her defense, too. Nice. And the stagger. Fuck yeah, there we go, boys. Oh man, I don't want to bully Consta. I should though, but fucking A. Alright, let's see what we have to deal with here first. Still the same fucking attack card. Alright, cool, so they are relentless. Gotcha. Do we have a three-part attack here? We do, I should probably do that, but, um... Nah, fuck it. You will intercept there, and we're going to do commandeering on me as well. It's gonna kill my light, but whatever. There we go. Alright, cool. I don't even know what their weaknesses are, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, cool, alright. Their light has regenerated pretty well.
I actually genuinely feel bad for Consta here. <laughs> Where I, like, don't want to be too dickish. Where it's like, no, 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 give give Consta a chance. I think it's a she, I'm not 100% sure. It sounds like a she. I don't really care much for Mo though. Arnold is in the middle somewhere. No, oh, so it does actually say it right there. Gotcha. I just got a highlighter. All right, cool. So um, that'll pretty much do it. But I think I'm gonna do this instead. Are you fatal to it? Cool. So that has the potential to. Nah, we're we're gonna do this one because, yeah. Maybe I should have spent more time enjoying my life, huh? I kind of want to know what their backstories are, and I'm sure that we'll find out as we go through this. That's a three-part attack, so I have to be mean about that. That's a three-part attack. So, rats, survival, probably best bet. And then we'll go commandeering. Yeah, I feel like I've got a very good concept of um, combat now, and I feel good about that shit. I'm just gonna go vicious on him, and as for Consta, well, my apologies, but it has to be done. The game's making me do it. Well, that was mildly fucking depressing. Let's continue. Book of Brotherhood of Iron, Book of Arnold, Book of Cons- Hey! Yeah, that's cool. Alright, cool. So I think I needed the Brotherhood of Iron book to continue, though. <sighs> See? It's not a good idea to keep your brain inside of a hunk of scrap metal. Isn't it still better than a frail human body, though? There are plenty of ways to enhance your body without replacing it for another. Heck, there's actually many options. Tattoos, prosthetic limbs, medications, and drugs. You name it, it's all possible as long as you have the cash. Replacing your body with a machine, on the other hand, is just a one-way ticket you can never go back on. Robotic bodies cannot resemble humans too closely. Even if it's someone swapping out their flesh, your life goes down the drain right away. When does one put their brain in a machine, then? One, when you urgently need a huge chunk of money. You can sell off your old body and organs for a good chunk of cash. Two, when you need to do repetitive work for a long time. I heard mechanical bodies like that aren't bad for that kind of labor. Broken parts can be quickly replaced, and desires can be kept under control, so it has its merits. Repetitively work for a long time. What? Interested in getting a new body? No, I was just reminded of my past for a moment. Malkith floor! Alright, so we have the page that we need now. Do I need to burn the book in here? Wait a minute. Hold on, I'm gonna burn just a regular old book here first, just in case. So, book of a grade 9 fixture, just in case. So I don't know if it's just going to give me, like, a meter, I don't remember. Nope, I didn't fill the meter. So, we gotta burn the book of the Iron Brotherhood. Yes. 
Or am I just stupid? Oh, no, no, there we go. Scorched Girl, I actually remember this abnormality as well, and I think we're gonna have to wind up doing this as Malkith, baby, so let's do it! Oh, shit, I didn't mean to do that. That's a lot of health, by the way. Oh, when an ally dies, so you gotta kill her allies. Alrighty, well, oh, Jesus, well, I also never did anything with, um, Malkith's deck either, so, I'm a missing out a bit here. No, that's the only way I'm gonna actually do damage. Alright, let's hope that we can, uh, do with the default, because I didn't do fucking anything with Malkith's deck. Boom. Boom. And boom! Ah, uh, fuck that. Is it every time that you hit somebody, you also get a little bit of light as well? It seems that way. I'm just gonna keep focusing on the same character. There we go. Alright, so one down. Scorch Girl loses 50% of her health. We can probably do this with our setup. Poor thing. I know, Malkith. I know. Unfortunately, this is a job that we have to do because Angela's a fucking bitch. But I'm sure there's a reasoning to why we're doing the thing that we're doing. I really don't think that Angela is just straight up an asshole. So, I don't know. We'll have to find out over time, but I really do genuinely think there's a reasoning for why she is doing the shit she is doing. I can't charge in cover, but I can activate a dodge, which is good. Yeah, fuck it. Doesn't really matter. Just to save up my light. Uh, we can do a charge in cover, and hopefully that'll win. Boom, there we go. And that's the fight. See what I mean? Like, the RNG nature of it, like, all, ultimately, there is a strategy to getting the desired results from a clash, at least, which is cool. Uh, upon taking hits, ooh, nice. If the HP of allies fall to 20% or below, deal 30% of max HP as damage. Ooh, damn, dude. That's, um, that's crazy. Not there. So, have the books helped? Yep, I'm sorting them all now. Or somehow. <clears throat> so I'm thinking that Malkith being all uppity and stuff is probably the best bet, because Hod was all like shy and shit like that, and I don't think that anybody was really like upbeat and happy versus Malkith. She's all like fucking sunshines and bubbly rainbows, so... <clears throat> It seems to be working, thankfully. It's <sighs> good to hear. By the way, I think I remember Angela saying something along the lines of you earning a fleshy body the last time we met. Were you, like, not human before? It was like a replacement body, a change that couldn't ever be reverted. So you had a brain transplant surgery, but somehow managed to go back to your old human body here? That's actually pretty impressive, thanks to the library's powers, I'm guessing? Yeah, I think so. I can't let yourself be held back by common sense in the library, huh? I take it that you don't really like having your body back? You didn't seem too happy back then. Oh no, I actually do like it. It's just that this isn't exactly how I wanted things to go down. What did you want in the past then? 
그러게요. 예전의 전 뭘까요? Yeah, I wonder. What was I in the past, really? 믿기지 않겠지만 이건 제세 번째 삶이에요. You wouldn't believe it, but this is actually my third try at life. 도서관과 사서들에게는 많은 역사가 퇴적되어 있죠. This library and its librarians have a lot of history behind them. 세 번째라고? 뭐막 퇴사하거나 그런 건가? Third try? Wait, can you come back from the grave or something? 엄밀히 말하자면 세 번째로 기억이 더 쉬워진 거죠. It's the accumulated memories from my two previous bodies that were carried over to be precise. 예전에 나 이런 고민은 저도 처음 해 보네요. My past selves. I never really thought about it this way before. 어려운 문제를 또 안고 있구만. 지금은 넌 뭐인 것 같아? It's a difficult problem you're facing there. How about your present self? 전 모두의 노력을 헛되게 만들어 버린 무책임한 녀석이에요. I'm an irresponsible person who let down everyone's efforts. 그리고 분수에 맞지 않는 일로 잘못을 범한 멍청이인 것 같기도요. And an idiot who tried to reach for something out of my means and ended up causing trouble, I suppose. 잠깐 잠깐. 아왜 갑자기 어두워지고 그래? Whoa, whoa, hold your horses. Let's not get too dark here. 일단 진정하자고. Let's just calm down for a moment. 천천히 숨을 들이마시고. Take a deep breath. <웃음> 내쉬고. And let it out. <웃음> 들이마시고. In. <웃음> 내쉬고. And out. <웃음> That's adorable and I love it. <웃음> 좀 진정됐어? Relax now. 네, 덕분에요. Yeah, 고마워요, in and out. Roland. Thanks, Roland. 당장 어떻게 할수 없는 일에 대해 열내봤자 의미가 없는 걸 제가 누구보다 잘하는데. I should know that it's better than anyone that it's not that it's pointless to get upset over things I can't do anything about. <웃음> 할수 있는 일부터 힘내봐야죠. Gotta start with the things I can take care of first. 좋아. 나도 열심히 해볼 테니까. 예전에 자신이라는 문제에 대해서는 천천히 right. 생각해 보자고. God damn, I keep accidentally cutting off the voice acting. <웃음> All right, I'll try hard with my work too. Let's take our time with the problem of past selves. Let's yeah, take our time with the problem of past selves. Oh, we got a new librarian, so that means. Oh, sorry, I'm disgusting right now. Oh, Christ, fuck. I'm gonna make Chelsea. How do we get the fuck out of here? So we'll jump back into the next episode after I've made Chelsea. And I will see you guys then. Take it easy.